If you own a Ford, listen up because you might be in for a huge payday. Vehicles behind me would normally come trade in between 14 and 20 thousand dollars and Ford is offering clients usually between 24 and 32 thousand dollars for vehicles that originally sold for roughly that about 30 28 to 34 thousand dollars so we're talking about 2019 and 2020 Ford fusions so 2019 2022 Ford fusions you might be able to make thousands of dollars even 10 over ten thousand dollars depending on your mileage more than ten thousand dollars worth more than its actual trade-in because well ford has a charging problem with these vehicles so this actually goes back for quite some time for over a year ford has been trying to find a solution and the problem is actually with the battery energy control module, the BECM. So originally Ford was finding that hopefully the problem would be resolved by just lowering the voltage going to the vehicle. Now the problem can actually make it so that currently you shouldn't, Ford suggests to not charge your vehicle. They ask that you don't charge it. They even say you can go to a dealership for free to have its charging capacity removed. And then after, if you want, you can actually wait for Ford to replace the whole battery. Ford will replace the whole battery. That's only gonna start sometime in summer and fall 2025. In the meantime, for free, you can have Ford evaluate and make you an offer. Now, Ford says that they're gonna pay you fair market value plus 15%, you know, for the inconvenience, but they're actually paying way more. I can tell you that these vehicles would normally come in on trade for 14, to maximum $20,000 if they have, let's say, you know, 15,000, 20,000 kilometers on them. But I've seen amounts as high as $34,500 for these vehicles when they're extremely low mileage and with relatively high mileage still about, you know, $25,000, dollars on, on a vehicle that have been worth about $12,000 on trade. So Ford is going all out this uh, to really make sure customers are happy you can also choose to keep your vehicle you have until july 2025 to get your offer from ford and tell them whether you want to take that huge check from them or you want to hold on to the vehicle and wait for ford to have an available battery that they can put into your fusion so that's the reason why uh, right now we actually have 31 of these fusions plugins so it's just the fusion plug-in not the regular hybrid so they have to have the little recharging recharging port right there in the front if it doesn't have that you just have a regular hybrid so it needs to be a plug-in hybrid we currently have 31 of these because the offers are incredible you can make thousands of dollars and actually you don't even have to probably currently own a fusion i think if you went out if you find a fusion for sale right now a plug-in probably pick it up one that you'd probably pick up on the market for twenty thousand dollars good chances don't take my word on this this is my opinion this is what i'm currently seeing something that's worth about 16 on trade that would sell for about you know 18 19 thousand dollars once fixed up and you know looking spiffy and all the maintenance done on it it's something that would uh get you about 25 to thirty thousand dollars so you might you know it's a risk it's a risk it's kind of like playing the stock market but if you find one of these not too expensive for sale well you could always maybe consider buying it hold on to it for a month or two and then just see what ford will offer you for it so a little i can't promise it'll work but i suspect highly suspect that that will actually function now if you're actually thinking of buying an escape or a plug-in or hybrid or you're thinking of buying a maverick hybrid and this has you worried you're thinking hmm ford's having to buy these back they're not having to they're offering and they do have a solution don't worry it doesn't affect the escape and it doesn't affect the maverick remember when actually a little go back in time the plug-in escape was considerably late arriving to dealerships more fusions back there as you can see but you can there's an escape there it got delayed by about a year 
Marie and I, we had ordered one, a plug-in escape, and it came in well over a year late. So in the end, we ended up switching to an order of a Maverick. Now, why was it delayed? Well, because Ford had found the problem and before bringing it to our market, they wanted to correct the problem. So you don't actually have to worry about the current Escape or Ford Maverick. It's been perfected. It's, you know, not it, it, the exact same systems. And even, you know, if you think back to the EcoBoost story with the 3.5 liter EcoBoost in the Ford F-150s, yes, generation one wasn't perfect, 20, 2011, 2012. But when you get down to generation two on that engine, it's, it, it's, it's excellent and it's, it's fantastic in its uh, third generation. So Ford does actually fix things. It's not like, you know, those, that 1999 Porsche Porsche 911 and the 2000 Porsche 911 that we have here for the channel. Hey, we're still waiting for Porsche to admit that they messed up with the IMS bearing and to, you know, offer to change the IMS bearing, but they haven't done that for any Porsche 911 customers. They just won't admit that the part is the problem. They won't take responsibility and they won't fix it. So don't take this as a horribly bad story that, you know, should make you worried about buying anything hybrid or electric from Ford. Ford's extremely responsible. They take care of their clients and look, they're paying so, so, so much more than these things are worth. It's kind of like winning a small lottery. So take all this to heart, take it into mind when you're concerning a Ford product because yes, uh, someone could throw this story down as, hey, don't buy anything Ford that's hybrid because they can't make a hybrid that works. Well, no, they've found the solution. You can keep your Ford Fusion. You can get the parts switched out if you're patient in the meantime to avoid the potential loss of power or even a fire. Ford asks you to not charge your plug-in Fusion, but this doesn't affect the plug-in uh, C-Max or the plug-in Escape, but uh, you know, you could keep the vehicle, but you could also take a whole a lot of money and you know, be laughing all the way to the bank. Well, currently there's 31 here in the parking lot of these Fusions. So a lot of people have found that this is an excellent opportunity. Now, I hope this does help you save money or make money in the meantime, Help us out, help our channel, our fa small family business by hitting the like and subscribe button and turn bell no notifications on so you don't miss out any information that will keep you up to date with everything, that, everything that's going on at Ford. And I try to cover the general, imp really important general auto market news. Take care, folks. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, please drop a comment, finisher, uh, and let us know what you think of Ford's hybrid and electric vehicles. Take care, folks. I wish you all more cars and more power and hope you get to put the pedal to the metal real soon on whatever you drive.